Hello, friends! Today, we'll learn about melting and boiling. <laughs> Are you boiling water in the pan to make pasta? You need to bring water to a rolling boil until bubbles come from the bottom of the pan to the top. Ah, oh, I forgot to give you the ice cream I brought for you. It's melting because it's exposed to a temperature above its freezing point. Today, we'll learn about melting and boiling. But before that, let's quickly see what solids, liquids, and gases are. Solids. In this state, particles are tightly jam-packed together, so they don't move much. Liquids. In a liquid state, the particles are more loosely packed, and they're able to flow around each other. Gases. In this state, the particles have a great deal of space between them, and have very high kinetic energy. To know more about this, watch our video, State of Matter. Now, let's learn about melting. Melting is a physical process of changing something from a solid into a liquid. Ah, you haven't melted chocolate. Could you light the candle, please? The light and heat from a candle come from the wax burning. The heat of the flame melts the wax near the wick. Wait for a few hours and it will melt completely. It's good that melted wax can be cleaned with ice cubes, as ice causes wax to harden and shrink. Look carefully. The motion of the molecules inside ice is increasing. Ice has also melted and it's in liquid form now. When you apply heat to a solid substance, it starts to melt. The butter starts to melt after heating it. The temperature at which something begins to melt is known as the melting point. The melting point of butter is around 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Pure ice melts at 32 degrees Fahrenheit, and the melting point of dark chocolate is around 113 degrees Fahrenheit. We forgot about the boiling water! Let's learn about boiling now! Boiling happens when a liquid becomes a gas, forming bubbles inside the liquid volume. You prepared yummy pasta in the boiling water along with the veggies. Let's go out to grab some coffee. See, milk is boiling here. Now, with bubbles forming around the edges of the pot and just a few in the middle, it's time to turn off the heat as the milk is boiling. These bubbles rise to the surface and fly away as steam, known as vapor. The temperature that is high enough to cause this activity is called the boiling point. The boiling point of water is 212 degrees Fahrenheit, and the boiling point of cow's milk is about 203 degrees Fahrenheit. You are now enjoying your boiling hot coffee with melted butter sandwich. Let's recap. Melting is the process by which a solid turns into a liquid. Boiling is the process by which a liquid turns into a vapor. Now you know a lot about the topic. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye-bye.